Hi everyone, in this lecture we will see whether the following system is static or not, linear or not, causal or non-causal, time invariant or time variant. So the system is represented by the equation y of n is equal to log mod x of n to the base 10, right? Now first thing is you have to find out whether this system is static and or dynamic system. Fine. So if you see here it is what x of n simple right means we are at present situation. So y of n only depends upon x of n. In another sense the output depends on what output depends on present value present value of input fine present value of input only so it is what kind of system so if it only depend upon the present value of input so it is which system static system memoryless system right static system hope it is clear to you fine now let's move to the next and see whether it is linear or non-linear system fine so we know right y of n is what basically transform of x of n right and basically y of n is what log mod of x of n to the base 10 correct so now we have to check for linearity so for an input x1 of n what will be the output y1 of n right which is nothing but transform of x1 of n which is equal to what log okay mod x1 of n to the base 10 hope it is clear to you fine now let's move next and check for an input x2 of n so what will be the output y2 of n right it is what transform of x2 of n so this is equal to what log mod of x2 of n to the base 10 clear up to this no doubt right it is straightforward now you have to calculate what the weighted sum of outputs so how to calculate weighted sum of outputs simple right a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n this you have to calculate you already know y1 of n and y2 of n so just place here the actual values and calculate so a1 into log mod x1 of n to the base 10 plus a2 into y2 of n means log mod of x2 of n to the base 10 so this we have calculated what the weighted sum of outputs now what you have to calculate you have to calculate the output due to weighted sum of inputs now fine so let's calculate let's say the output is what y3 of n which is nothing but transform of a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n which is nothing but equal to what so log mod of x of n instead of x of n you have to place this now right so mod a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n to the base 10 
so now say this one and this one are this equal no right so y3 of n is not equal to a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n right so if these are not equal so we can say like system is what non linear system so system is what non linear hope it is clear to you let's move further and check for causality so whether the system is causal or non causal so if you see here we have already seen the output is dependent upon the present value of inputs only so so here output does not depend upon future inputs right it does not depends upon the future input and it only depends upon what the present value of input so the system is what here system is what boss it is a causal system hope this is also clear to you now let's move further and check for time invariant or time variant fine so let's see this particular case okay so y of n is what log of log mod of x of n to the base 10 so we already know this right we have seen just now so we have to calculate two things first is the output due to the input delayed by m minutes second is the output delayed by m minutes if these two are equal then we can say it is time invariant system so let's calculate and see so the output due to input delayed by m units so how to calculate this it is nothing but y of n comma m which is what transform of x of n minus m which is basically what y of n when x of n is equal to x of n minus m so wherever x of n is present just replace with this so if you see log base 10 right so mod x of n right so simply write x of n minus m clear so this we have already calculated now we have to calculate the output delayed by m units it means you have to calculate y of n minus m which is nothing but y of n at n is equal to n minus m fine so this simply replace n with n minus m so becomes what log basis 10 so x of n means now it will become x of n minus m so if we compare this two these two are same right so y of n comma m is equal to y of n minus m so if these two are equal it means our system is what our system is time invariant system time invariant hope it is clear to you so overall if you see for this particular system it is what time invariant right it is what causal non linear and what static in nature so fine so if you have any doubt related to this numerical you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching